Their names don't conjure exotic images like, say, bighorn sheep. They carry simple sounding names like the grasshopper sparrow, the baird sparrow, or the chestnut collared longspur. They call these huge expanses of grassland home, but their numbers are getting smaller. We're trying to find out why these, some of these species are declining. Nancy Drilling is a bird biologist with the Bird Conservancy of the Rockies, a group partnering with the U.S. Forest Service and the Game and Fish Department to study these grassland species of birds. What we're looking at is we're trying to look at um, how well they are surviving out here, um, how many nests they have, how well the nests are doing, if they fail, why do the nests fail. Just trying to get basic information on, just some clues on why these populations are declining. They drag a rope through the thick grass to locate nests and then mark the birds for future identification. So to do that, we catch adults and we put little tiny radio transmitters on them. While Game and Fish plays an integral part in the grassland bird study. North Dakota Game and Fish are our major partner, um, are contributing quite a lot of um, funding for this and a lot of logistical help. It's the ranchers, the stewards of the grassland environment that are counted on to cooperate with the study and maintain nesting habitat for these tiny inhabitants. Ranching is a vital part to the, to the viability of these birds' populations. And out here we find a lot of these, these birds, which means the ranchers are doing a really good job with these grasslands. Even though the actual numbers show some of these species are declining, the success at finding nests was pretty good. Last year, the crews uncovered nearly 70 nests in this particular plot of grasslands. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoor.